<clears throat> What's up, everybody? This is Fudge, and we are with the One Accord DJ Alliance conference call for 11 20 2012. And what we're doing is we're calling a little earlier than normal, and we're going to do a live uh, DJ battle draft. We have nine DJs. Each DJ did a 10 track mix within 10 to 11 minutes and we're going to select who's going to go head to head and we're going to post the bracket up at oneaccorddjs.com uh, immediately following the picking of the draft and if there's any questions you can um, just go to oneaccorddjs.com you can email oneaccorddjs at gmail.com and you can call I don't want you to call my phone, really, to be honest with you. But you can uh, you can email us individually. You can go to um, the Gmail account. That's the best way to just email all of us at once. So, and before I do all this, I want to I want to make sure that uh, DJ Tony Tone set the tone for us, and if you could open us up in prayer. No problem. Right. Lord God, we just want to thank you first and foremost for your goodness to us. Thank you for health and strength, dear Father, and we just bless you for uh, your Holy Spirit who resides within us. Dear Father, we ask that this call will be productive in any kind of way. Thank you for the opportunity to represent you here on earth, dear Lord, in the form of music. We ask that all the participants that are going to be in the battle or the competition, their father, will continue to give you first uh, place in their lives as well as uh, that they submit themselves to your word and to your spirit that they be the best that they can be, not only in the competition, but in their lives personally. Lord. Um, thank you for this opportunity, and we just praise you in all that we do. In Jesus Christ, name we ask and pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. I got some feedback here. Whoa. I know how that happened. Hey, Daisy. What's up, babe? What's going on? Who that there? Hey, boy. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm going to make sure that I got each one of these on a piece of paper, all the names, and I'm putting them all in a hat. And I'm hoping the audio in this video comes out okay because... I've been doing like 30 things at once today. We have the Beast Mode tour coming up here in Buffalo on the 30th of November. And I've been trying to scramble to make sure we can accommodate that. And we have it locked for next Friday, so I'm excited about that. So Beast Mode is in the house. Flavor Radio and Star Radio are co-sponsoring that. And that's all I got to say. I can't wait till we uh, we do an international DJ conference in London. I'm ready. All right, I'm mixing the hat up, mixing it all up. Make sure it looks good. And what I'm going to do is I'm starting from the first selection is going to be draft pick number nine, and we're going backwards. Unless you guys want to do anything different. I, I do have a question. Sure. I don't want to necessarily say you have to do it different, but like, would it be in nine people? Is somebody going to get a buy? That's like an uneven amount of people. Yeah, like I, I explained earlier, that number eight and number nine is going to be a wild card. So they're going to have to pre-battle 
before the number eight position is is uh, inserted. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. I don't know why the first time I really didn't, but yeah, that time it computed. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. And like I said, I'm going to post all of that, a link for it, PDF style, on oneaccorddjs.com when we're done. All right, so, and as I pick them, I'm going to put the name, the number of who's going to be what. So, for position number nine, it's going to be, it's DJ T-Daddy. All right, and I don't think he's on the call, so he doesn't know this. All right, position number eight. This is going to be the the uh, uh oh DJ Husky. I don't think either one of them are on the call, so surprise to them two guys. All right, so. That's going to be the wild card matchup, and the winner of that will advance to position number eight. And I got to open that up, I think. But the uh, number eight, I believe, goes on to go against number five. And again, when I'm finished with this call, I'm going to post it up there while you guys are doing the conference call with the the guest. All right. All right, and here we go again. Mix it up. Number seven, DJ Psalm Fifty One. Number six, DJ Mix Style. Number five. DJ Dub Dub Dub. So you looks like you'll go against the winner of Husky and T Daddy. Okay. No, number number four. DJ Tony Tone. All right, three more to go here. Number three, DJ Cookie. Last two, here it comes. Number two is Transformed. Number one is DJ Nonchalant. All right, so now that we have that settled, give a quick announcement about Black Friday we're going to be offering a special on the t-shirts and we're rolling out the sweatshirts it's going to be the same the same symbol uh, all of them will be in black and white as well but the black uh, is the only one that can go up to 6x so but we'll have that for Black Friday something we'll, we're offering and then for Cyber Monday, we're going to be releasing three more products. All of these are going to be pre-ordered. It's going to take about three to four weeks to be delivered so that we don't have overstock because I have a lot of overstock of t-shirts still. And I don't want to do that again with the more expensive products. So, um, But anyways, we're going to be, once again, this DJ battle is really a scrimmage. And again, Psalms 144.1 is going to be the theme for it. He, he makes my hands to war and my fingers to battle. And just remember that, that, you know, God has uh, actually designed us for warfare. And it's not flesh and blood that we're fighting, but it's powers and principalities. And he's using the skill and talents that you have and the others of us that promote it, uh, music, in order to penetrate the kingdom of darkness with uh, the songs and the uh, ministry of music for the light. And so that's really what we're trying to do. We're not trying to defeat each other. We're not competing um, 
to destroy each other or put someone else down. Uh, and somebody who is eliminated is not a loser, and we're not going to treat them as such. Going to be well respected for stepping it up and um, doing their part to take a chance and contribute. And we're going to continue to use anybody who's eliminated from the um, the contest to be in the voting process towards the end. So um, all is not lost in this in this uh, battle. So is there any questions from anybody? Um, I, have, I have a question. Um, how, how soon do you want us to like make our videos public? And um, or can, how soon can we start here? You just let us know when it's ready. What I'm going to do is I have to compile all these. I pretty much have the system ready, but I'm going to start plugging in the videos. Um, at a later time because I'm going to actually produce a video program out of it. This is one of the reasons why I have constant battle in Israel on the line because I want them to be involved in this. But we're going to take those video clips and we're going to do a uh, video program like a TMZ, like kind of what I was saying before, like reality show type of uh, feel to it. And we're going to try to produce a program that's acceptable for television viewing and at, use it as a pilot for BET. Um, I've talked to Troy Edwards who by the way is uh, putting off the DJ Mixtape Awards next June in Washington DC area. He and I we, we discussed about if we can get a good pilot program together he'll pitch it to BET since he's on the board actually um, with that organization now. So um, he's a busy man, he's got a lot of pull, but he's also limited to quality. So we're going to do the best we can with what we have. So if you can, you know, it's going to be better exposure for you to have a video uh, at home or however you can do it. I prefer that we have an HD camera, but try to get the best quality that you can. Um, your audio mix, make sure it's always high quality sound. And the mixes are just going to be reviewed but not necessarily played in its entirety when we do the actual tel made for television post production. But we're going to have the general public's going to be voting. So we'll have chances for three things in this one. We'll have uh, a judge's choice, we'll have a peer choice which means you guys will be judging each other and it will also have a people's choice which means that everybody blast it to everybody possible on their own personal list so that they can get their personal votes up too for this um, and then this way we have pretty much every every area covered there's no bias and you know there's some popularity but the criteria after talking with DJ Heat that we've discussed is four categories which is creativity, presentation, technique and then the fourth is just overall which is just covers anything else that uh, something special that stands out or whatever so but I've listened to all the mixes I'm very impressed um, and I don't think I had anybody resubmit one on time so these are all still the raw mixes and if I'm not mistaken but those are the nine DJs if I've missed anybody maybe I did miss one person I have to I'll restructure it but I don't think I missed anybody I think these are the only nine mixes that were submitted to me on time and that, well, that's all we're going with a couple people said they were gonna do the mix anyways and submit it but it's not gonna count towards this competition but we can always uh, release that with everything together so, I, but I do want your videos private and you share the link with me and I'll be able to capture that video and use it for our post-production. Um, if you could just leave it that way so that we can put it all together and make something nice out of it. Does that make sense? Okay, so anything else? That's all I got. Is Edwin on? Tom. 
Yes, Tone. Of course. Just Okay. Yep. I mean, I'll do that right now. Then uh, I was just going to put it up on the site as soon as I got off this call, but um, I'll read it off that way too. Hang on a second. All right. I got a new computer and it's still slow getting Excel up. All right. There it is. Okay. So, I'll put them in order here. We have number one, which is nonchalant, goes against number four, DJ Tony Tone. Number five, again, goes against the winner of, um, which is... Uh, Water Walking Warrior versus the winner of Husky and Tea Daddy. Uh, six and seven are head to head, which is DJ Mix Style and DJ Psalm one, uh, 51. And then number two and three, which is DJ Transformed and DJ Cookie are head to head. So I think we got a good little mix here, you know, um, different styles. Who knows what's going to happen? But one, four, uh, five, eight, and nine are in one bracket, and then two, three, six, and seven are in the other bracket. And then the final four will be a lot of video pre-production. So we'll see what happens. But um, again, we're going to make sure it's as unbiased as possible we'll be we'll be cr critical but we're not going to be putting people down in any way we're just going to make sure that anything that seems to be out of place or whatever we'll, we'll mention it but um, we'll have a grading of one to five in each of those uh, categories so a total of 20 points per, per uh, critique times four that's a, an 80 points possibility. So we'll go from there. And tiebreakers, I'm not sure how we'd work that just yet. But uh, I would say maybe um, the loser of the DJ Husky Tea Daddy would be the one that would decide. We'll go from there. How's that? Everybody agreed to that one or do you have a different idea? No, I'm uh, I'm here with you guys. You know, we, we're we're just working this out together. So, just wanted to see. Like, once I like that idea. You want, by the way. Okay. All right, and you got yours. Fifty-one. You got yours. Your. Uh, you're in. You're in Orlando, right? Yeah, I just I just chimed in, so I might have missed a chunk of the conversation, but uh, I just been on for like six minutes right now. Okay. Well, mixed style is your uh, competitor. All right. So, but we're gonna do what what I would like to see and hear are, um, you know, encouraging, uplifting videos and and comments. But it's gonna be a critique. Uh, you guys are gonna do a a peer critique of your competitor for each round. And there's also going to be a consolation bracket for those that are eliminated the first time. They have a, a, if you will, a second chance if you want to continue. You can always pass if you don't want to do another mix. But I'd say, you know, if you have the chance to do something, go for it. But we'll have a consolation bracket on top of it. And each person that's eliminated will be a part of the, the uh, final uh, balloting of who the champ is going to be. So it's going to be well-rounded and we're going to make sure that it's fair and that everybody's 
enjoying themselves while they're doing it. So don't stress. I think it was, I don't know who it was but said it, but they stressed over getting this uh, thing done. And, uh, you know, I, I've been stressing putting this thing together myself. So believe it or not, I'm right with you. Uh, I think I spent a lot longer than you did. But I'm excited about it. I, I'm enjoying myself right now, and I, I really want to plan for this to be successful. So and that's all I got, and I think the guest is going to be coming on shortly. Anybody have anything else? Good job, Flush. Thank, yeah, thank you for what you're doing, buddy. Thanks, Fudge. Thank you, you guys. Thank you for, for the fight in life and, and, and make it audio and video. Yes. Well, we want to put a face to the DJs, We, you know what I mean? We got to. We got to. The, 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 another end result. Obviously, we're trying to we're trying to spread the, the gospel. That's really the first step. But the other results, the other things I want to see out of it is the DJs getting more exposure, more opportunity for gigs locally, and possibly you know touring with any other artists that come through, and just better communication with each other helping each other be successful um, and just networking better so I think all of a lot of different things will come out of it that I'll even, I won't even plan yet so but I believe what God's hand is on it and um, I'm excited about it well before I guess get on and for I go back to sleep <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys to also help us, help me, help us, help those victims um, of Sandy because now that some people are going to rebuild, not everybody was insured enough to be rebuilt. So I've um, got permission with um, Red Cross, just giving me permission to even use their name to make an online fundraiser. I will resubmit the page again. If you see something like this, says, me and helping the Red Cross and those victims, everyone who signs up on that free 30 day trial from shoebox.com, which is one of the things I use to keep all my receipts and stuff and online. They scan them in, you just mail them, all the stuff I do with them. Um, so I didn't get great tax write offs. Um, get Uncle Sam to pay me to do ministry, and I want him to do the same for your ministry. Um, just Click on the link, everyone that signs up, DJ Manabu and Pergo Industries will donate $10 to the Red Cross. So you can give without giving. All you got to do is sign up for a 30-day trial. You don't want it, cancel before the 30 days. It doesn't matter when you cancel, it still will click and count. Um, because different links I put up have, I'm able to track who's you know, clicking on what. Um, All right. Well, I'm on mute right now with the conference call. Sorry, this might not be visually stimulating, and I might not be interactive. But I'm on a conference call on the phone, and I'm looking at papers. So hopefully you guys understood what I'm doing, and hopefully I have audio on this video. If not, then all you're hearing is.